A lot of Muslim parents will say no to their daughters marrying a black man, and that's haram. It's straight out haram. The Prophet وسلم, said, إِذَا أَتَاكُمْ مَنْ تَرْضَوْنَ خُلُقَهُ وَدِينَهُ فَزَوِّجُوا He said that if someone comes to you and you're okay with his deen, meaning his Islam, and his character, then marry him. He didn't say his tribe, he didn't say his skin color, he didn't say what race he is, what language he speaks. So many parents will use all of these excuses to stop their daughters from marrying black men, all because they have biases against black men because they think wrongly and in a haram way about black men. The color of your skin doesn't matter. In our deen, we have Arabized and whitewashed our history to make it seem that there are no black Muslims. I'm so much impressed by the level at which this lady has seen the hypocrisy in her own people. Let me tell you, uh, these communities, the community that she's coming from, they have they call it a culture but that is not a culture that is racism let's call racism as the way it is racism is racism let's call a spade a spade that is not culture okay they claim or they say that their culture prevents their daughters or prevents their own people from having a relationship with the black community or african people okay and they call it culture but now she has been exposed she's educated that's why she's rising above such mindset. That's why she's rising above, uh, you know, such beliefs. Okay, such cultural beliefs. Okay, it's not cultural. Okay, that is racism. And uh, I'm so much impressed that she has seen the hypocrisy in her own people. Right? And uh, this leaves me with this, with this statement that as Africans, you have no choice but to love yourselves okay when you look around almost everyone is now distancing themselves from being called africans it started out with the dominicans and when i say africans i mean africans around the world including the those ones in caribbean okay including the jamaicans right the jamaicans by geographically geographically they are jamaicans by but by a century origin they are africans okay right now almost when you look around people are distancing themselves from being called africans it started out with the dominicans no i'm not black i'm not black okay it's now even shifting to 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 so the somalis even the somalis right now they don't want to be called africans uh, yeah i am not black I am not African, you know, and even as we, as I speak here, there is still a Jamaican who is going to deny my statement that they are not Africans, they are Jamaicans. <laughs> okay, you will even see them in the internet trying to deny their own. Okay, they say they claiming that they don't like speaking patwa. If someone can deny their own, someone who is denying their own clearly this person is also denying from being called an african when you call this person an african he or she is going to deny all right it is happening here that's why i'm saying africans around the world you have no choice and i'm so much impressed by this muslim lady she has exposed the hypocrisy in her own people it's a low level hypocrisy okay it's discrimination that is race i call that race discrimination right this there is nothing cultural about this absolutely there is absolutely nothing cultural here on the same subject there is a serious mental slavery that is still going on here in kenya particularly in africa let me say that whoever said that we should emancipate ourselves from mental slavery was very right okay there's a serious mental slavery okay there are parents who are prohibiting their own kids there are kenyan parents who are prohibiting their own kids from speaking swahili the worst kind of discrimination is discriminating against ourselves okay discriminate discriminating among ourselves is the worst kind of discrimination as a black person whether you're coming from jamaica or from any other part when you walk into high-end restaurants in in uh, in uh, in Kenya or in any part in Africa, you will notice a change of service when it comes to a white person. Okay, when it comes to a white people, they are given the best receptions because of their color, because they are white. They they, they think they have a lot of money. You know, 
if if it if you know if it's an arab you know they're rushing there and it's your own people people who look like me who are who are doing those services okay when it's an arab when it's an indian when it's if, when it's a white person or an american there's a change of service there's a quick change of service their reception is the best they get the best reception compared compared to their own people it is happening here believe me or not hmm? even as a jamaican who looks like me who have the same color as me when you walk there until you start speaking jamaica that's now that's when they will now notice but you will see okay that's what i call mental slavery mental slavery is a serious disease it is going on i have even seen some of jamaicans in in the in, in the internet saying that they don't like speaking patwa they don't want to speak patwa and so they, 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 they claim they are jamaicans but they don't want to speak that is that's 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 a slave that's someone who is going through identity crisis but i'm going to talk about it in my next video yeah, i'm going to further that discussion in my next video but we I, and, and i say this as i say this as africans you have no choice you have no choice but to like yourselves but to love ourselves this thing of discriminating against your own people is not doing you justice because as an african when you go into their own countries when you go into a racist or when you meet into a racist they will not care whether you're who or who okay they don't care which part of africa you're coming from they are going to racially discriminate you or against you hmm? it is happening here 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 in kenya and i've said even restaurants there's a way there's an indian only restaurants here in kenya as an african or as a kenyan no matter how rich you are you cannot rent that place <laughs> ah conclusively uh, i still believe that all hum all humans are the same regardless of the color of your skin and uh, i'm also sorry because my english is not as eloquent as uh, i need to be but i'm trying i'm trying my level best at the same time i disclaimer not all people uh, not all people think the way i have described here not all uh, white people are bad not all indians are bad okay not all <coughs> arabs are bad some of them they are just you know they see humans as humans right they don't are they're not uh, discriminative at all at all at all but at the same time i also want to discourage my own african people from working in nations that see you as a slave okay if you want to work work very hard and probably go into the us and work there go into london or wherever and work you rather work there and come back and invest home than working in places that see you nothing than a slave okay <laughs> right yeah yeah there are still people who still believe and see africans as slaves stop going into those places i don't want to mention any country in particular but stop going into places if you want to work you'd rather go and try and even green card or whatever work in the u.s or wherever huh? <clears throat> In conclusion, again, one important lesson that I have picked, live your life. Live. Sometimes people dictate too much. People dictate, they claim, they claim they have these specific blueprints, how you need to live your life. Okay. They criticize too much. Don't listen to them. Trust the process and ask God for guidance and protections. That is all you need listen to the best advice you can listen to but don't let them dictate to you too much okay because even when you look at them closely these people who dictate to you on how you need to do or what you need to do or what content you need to put on youtube okay, they are always criticizing you when you look at them closely enough they are not happy themselves how comes they are not happy themselves they are not happy themselves where do they find their strengths or where do, do they find the you know the wisdom to, to dictate your life if they cannot find the wisdom to dictate on their own lives and better their own lives eh? where do they where should they find the wisdom to dictate your own life live your life trust the process 
everything is going to be good and then trust God and be prayerful understand okay most importantly please subscribe subscribe if you have not subscribed and thank you for watching my videos up to this point see you again and let us agree to disagree in the comment section